Imagine the electrifying atmosphere of a stadium, the collective breath of thousands held in suspense, the roar of the crowd as a goal is scored, a record broken, a champion crowned. Sports, in their myriad forms, captivate us, uniting people across the globe in a shared language of passion and excitement. But what lies beneath this universal appeal? Today, we delve into the psychological tapestry that weaves together our fascination with sports, exploring the primal instincts that connect us to our ancestors and the complex emotions that make sports far more than just games. Throughout history, sports have mirrored the human saga, evolving from ancient rituals and gladiatorial contests to modern-day spectacles. They reflect our cultural narratives, symbolizing the struggles and triumphs of our societies. In the echoes of stadiums, we hear the remnants of ancient battlegrounds, where competition and dominance played out not just for survival, but for honor and glory. Consider the grandeur of ancient Rome, where emperors like Nero understood the power of sports to captivate the masses. When Nero ascended to the throne, he was acutely aware of the political necessity to keep the citizens of Rome content and distracted to prevent rebellion. His solution? To hold lavish and prolonged gladiator games. These spectacles were more than mere entertainment. They were a strategic move to occupy the populace, channeling their restlessness into the thrill of combat and the glory of victory. The roar of the Colosseum was not just the sound of excitement, it was the sound of a ruler maintaining his grip on power. The blood spilled in the sand was the price of peace in the empire. At the heart of sports fandom is a cocktail of hormones, testosterone fueling our competitive drive, adrenaline heightening our senses, cortisol managing our stress, and oxytocin bonding us to our tribe. These biochemical surges are remnants of our primal instincts akin to those that drove our ancestors to war over territory and resources. In the modern arena, these instincts manifest as we vicariously experience the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat through our sports heroes. The emotional and mental benefits of following sports are profound. They offer a sense of belonging, a community with whom we share triumphs and heartaches. They provide an escape, a respite from the mundanity of daily life where for a moment, we can lose ourselves in the spectacle and drama of athletic prowess. Sports serve as a powerful focal point for community and identity. They can unite a city behind a team or bring a nation to its feet in patriotic fervor. On a global scale, international competitions like the Olympics transcend borders, fostering a spirit of camaraderie and global unity. We all have our personal narratives that intertwine with the world of sports. Perhaps it's the memory of playing catch with a parent, the first game attended, or the communal joy of celebrating a hometown team's victory. These stories enrich the tapestry of our sports culture, making each game, each season, a chapter in our own life story. In closing, our fascination with sports is a complex interplay of history, culture, biology, and personal narrative. It's a reflection of our innate instincts, a channel for our emotions, and a builder of communities. As we celebrate the athletes and teams we love, we also celebrate a part of ourselves, a part that revels in the human spirit and its ceaseless quest for excellence. So the next time you cheer for that game-winning goal or feel the rush of a race, remember, it's not just a game. It's a reflection of the very essence of being human and it's a story that has been unfolding since the days of ancient Rome.